असल एवरी वन आई होप स्टूडेंट्स यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग माई न्यू लेसन आई वुड लाइक to uh, give a brief review a brief recap of my previous lesson in my previous lesson we have started the chapter number 3 that was interacting with a computer and that was related with the three basic functions that a computer performs including the input processing and output i told you uh, in an explanation that input means to enter the data in the into the computer to give instruction to the computer with the help of the input devices including the keyboard mouse etc all the data that we enter into the computer with the help of our input devices will be processed with the help of the central processing unit cpu central processing unit is known as the brain of the computer as it controls all the functions of the computer just like the brains of our bo human body controls all the functions of the human body cpu also connects the different parts of the computer to each other it help us to communicate the information between different parts of the computer i gave you an example in my last lesson that if you want to print a document and you enter the data with the help of the keyboard then the cpu will connect the keyboard to the cpu and then process it and then it will also connect the cpu with the printer so that it can print it out later on we have discussed some input devices including the joystick scanner and the mouse let's start with today's lesson let me fix my tripod first i'm sorry about that okay yeah so this is the matching match this is the match the input device which their names that is the very easy as you can say that these all are the input devices and you have to match it okay so first of all i must tell you that today's lesson will not be that much explanatory and we will do a lot of the written tasks today as this is the demand of the chapter so keyboard you will draw the line this mouse touch screen microphone joystick whisk commands look away from the screen every few minutes to give your eyes a rest it means if you will use a computer continuously for hours it can affect your eyesight so it is always advised that look away from the screen while using your computer for a few minute to give your eyes a rest the average human beings normally blink 20 times a minute but only 7 times a minute when using a computer so this is a fact that uh, normally uh, when we are not using the computer so we usually blink our eyes 20 times a minute blinking in eyes usually to give the rest to our eyes because ye allah taala ka bada khoobsurat nizam hai ki jab hum aankh jhapakte hain to wo hamara chahe second ka rest hota hai but hota hai but when we are using the screens including our mobile phones desktop tablets so So this winking will be only seven times. That will be the interest. Now next page number twenty one. I guess it is fixed now. I'm sorry. Okay, so let's read it out about the output devices. I told you that all the input data will be processed with the help of the CPU and then it will show the result on the uh, output devices. Output devices are usually those devices that shows our process data including the printer. For example, if we want if I want to write my name Fatima and I want to see it on the computer then I will write it with the help of the keyboard and the CPU will process that data and the monitor that is the output device will show me that process data. Devices through which we can view the process data are called the output devices. These help the computer to give us the information. 
if we won't have the output device if i won't have a monitor so how would i see my result it is useless to enter the data with the help of the all the input device if you don't have any output device aapko result dikhane ke liye bhi to koi cheez chahiye na so that is the purpose of the output devices the monitor speaker printer and the headphones are the most commonly used output devices this is you must label these devices this is a printer this is these are the speakers and this is the monitor so write it on your books define an input what's the difference between the input and the output devices let me do this for you input input it is the data entered into the computer you will write it on your book input it is the data entered into the computer now next is output processed data process data displays on monitor is our output okay so we write it next we have write the short answers you will do it what are the basic functions of a computer i told you that the uh, i'm not gonna write providing you the written work here i'll just explain it to you and i really expect that you will do it your own the basic function of the computers are input processing and output why is the mouse should i do it for you as you may feel the difficulty so let me do it for you question number 1 what are the basic functions of the computer the answer is the basic functions of a computer are number a input b processing C output. Question number two: Why is the mouse called an input device? Why is the mouse called an input device? आप इसका लिखेंगे. The mouse is called an output device because it <coughs> i'm sorry gives instructions <coughs> i'm sorry <coughs> to the computer okay you will do this work today 
and we'll do the other two re remaining questions in our next lesson you will do the true false today headphones are an input device obviously it is false because in the headphone we can hear something so headphones are just like the speakers and speakers are the output device a picture of whiz on the monitor is output that is true devices that are used to enter the information into the computer are called the output devices that is false because i told you that we can only enter the data with the help of input device mouse and the keyboard are the input devices that is true so uh, please do your work on your loose copy uh, on the loose sheets and the rough copies and please submit it by in the uh, provided time frame so feel free to ask any query thank you everyone